In the meantime, a FEMA reimbursement program helping cover the cost of demolishing ruined homes over in Port Aransas. Here's Chris 6 reporter Tessa Barrera to explain how it works. As many as 20 privately owned homes in Port Aransas have been demolished, and the city hopes to increase that number. With help from FEMA, they can demolish more privately owned homes in the near future. Uh, the costs would be reimbursable to us. Uh, through the FEMA, the, the FEMA process. Currently, there are at least 30 houses like the one you see behind me that have requested the city of Port Aransas to step in and help with the demolition process. The first step is to fill out forms verifying who owns the property and showing that person can give the okay to tear it down. The city has a contractual agreement with a debris hauler, so that includes the demolition plus debris removal. But while it's at no cost to the owner, it certainly is not free of charge. Right now, uh, the FEMA reimbursement rate is 90 percent, uh, and we're responsible, and when I say we, either the jurisdiction and or the state, for the other 10 percent. So it's, it's not a free process. There is a cost. Once a property is added to the list to be demolished, homeowners are looking at a 20 to 30 day waiting period. There is not a permit necessary for any private property owners who want to demolish their property on their own dime. We have a list. Uh, and as soon as we clear some of the bureaucratic hurdles, uh, we can begin. Tessa Barrera, Chris 6 News. And a couple of more points on that. City working with the state to make sure that no homes of any historic importance are turned down and commercial property owners are not eligible for the FEMA demolition program. Well, you